the presence of a degree from a great institution should not and really can't win an argument. We've seen that now, right? The brightest minds have said this. How many of them were right? And yet your, your idiot conspiracy theorists that the left would call, right? Every one of them, they seem to have nailed it so much better than all the geniuses, right? Let me just start off by reminding you that Donald Trump Jr., seen here making fun of people with 15 years of education, has an Ivy League education, which he also mocked in the video, having gone to business school at UPenn. So case in point, he is lambasting himself here, and like all Trump gaffes, he doesn't even realize it. Now, there are some valid points to be made in this screed in terms of education, namely how ridiculously expensive higher education has become. Millions of people have gone into heavy debt because they were sold the idea that they would be able to get an incredible job right after graduating and pay off their debts in no time. And interestingly, had Don Jr. not gone right on to work for his daddy, that probably would have been him too, but no. Now he gets to chastise people with little economic resources and tell them they don't need to go to college, just trust him. It's an interesting trend of people on the right who have very elite expensive educations telling their followers not to get that elite expensive education. I've instructed my staff to begin compiling a list of inappropriate materials in our school libraries. I am also going to inform all vendors with the state of Oklahoma that we will not allow inappropriate materials in our schools, whether that's books or whether that's instruction. That is unacceptable in the state of Oklahoma. Okay, so task forces going into libraries, taking out inappropriate materials, elected officials demanding the removal of books and learning opportunities, add that to the notion that people shouldn't be going to college and you have a really depressing picture of the rights education platform. Do any of these people care to share about education in terms of ameliorating student test scores and graduation rates? Because it kind of seems like these people are just interested in making schools more like prisons, places whose role is not to serve the students, but to punish and isolate them from the world rather than preparing students for it. I would love to see a serious Republican proposal for making higher education less expensive. Because if there's one thing Don Jr. is right about, again, it's that the cost often outweighs the actual learning experience of many college courses. When I look and break down my own tuition versus what I was actually learning, I can say firsthand this is true. But the answer is to propose meaningful reform, revolution even, not just back out. It is a universal truth that education is the single most important investment we can make, not just in our students, but for our society as a whole. And you have to wonder, with right-wingers like this in the education space, what is their ultimate motive? Because educating young members of our society certainly is not it. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.